Hello, you do? Hello, what you win, you go for it! What's up? We're here at home. Finally got my transmission back from uh, XG Extreme. You see how clean it is. Number one, compared to what it was. I mean, you can easily look in the motor and see how dirty it was before. And, you know, we got it back. Also, I want to show you this. After the said Malash, supposedly we destroyed the case and it didn't happen. But that's, that's as much as you want. You don't want a clacka, clacka, clacka. As loud as it sounds. This this as much as I got, you can barely hear this. And you know, we're moving this. That's pretty good. But yeah, since I did uh took out my transmission at uh eight o'clock at night, it was dark, and I trying to make a video by myself, it didn't happen too good. So we're gonna make an install video, but you know, pretty much I'm gonna talk about it how to take it out as well. And uh yeah, we'll see you here in a second, guys. Or just be normal. Yeah, be normal. Alright, well, I'm not trying to put the transmission on the other side. Oh, it's not that bad. I promise it's not that bad. So, come on here, guys, and Paul is here behind me. What you do is, you kind of wedge it in there, like this. You need to tilt back just a little bit. Hold on. We're touching... Oh, we're touching... Yeah, up here. Uh, I need back a little bit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Now, that's the lip that needs to go there. So... Now it's hit. There we go. There you go. Now you don't want to move too much of the stuff. Hold on one second. Let me think. Yeah. The back's got to come over. Now, I know what you need to do. Uh, Chito, hand me the pry bar. I got a big one. Some, no, I got a big one somewhere. That's, That's what she said. said. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> Uh, it's in the truck, Chito, by the truck I was playing with that, uh... He was playing with it now. I was playing with that, uh, yeah, with that, uh, what it's called, tank. So, what happened here, you'll understand a little better. You got your mounts on the motor, and the motor goes down too much. So, if you don't want to be fighting here for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, trying to push it in, you come here and pick up the motor when Adam can push it in there kind of in place and uh, guess what it's in place now yep it's in place it's in place so we're gonna let the motor down you see it's not much movement it's, you just got this little bit to get in there it's too bad. there you go now first of all as reverse order as we did is this plate needs to go in with the mount back here so probably we're gonna put the mount first If I can, it's it. No, I know. It's in the... It came out pretty easy. Maybe if you pick the motor up. You gotta pick the motor up. I got me. All right. There you go. Pick the motor up a little bit. That makes it a lot easier. See, we're learning stuff new together. Everybody here. Trying to find everything. Yeah, no. Patented parts box. <laughs> yeah, I just put all the bolts on. All the bolts on one box. I don't care. Oh. So you have three bolts here. I will put them in. 13 millimeter nuts. That's what she said. After Lucio was dropping his nuts. That's right. 100%. So 
we can get uh Chita, go find a thir 13 uh, ranch or something and then this bracket it's just that's one of these brackets and so don't do what i did i was with a friend here a good buddy of mine was helping me and um this bolt goes here but actually it's welded in there and my body just keep uh, hammering on it hammering on it and it finally give up guys so you have we learned on the last bolt so you can see here that that was the other side i'm sorry so i tell i was on my body was on this side i was on the passenger side and this goes somewhere in this neighborhood here like this and i said dude come on give it just a little pry and sure enough he break the the weld out of there but it's not a big deal it's still gonna tie it. everything is perfect it's not a big deal at all i just want to make sure you know two of your top bolts in here this goes in the mount this two goes on the one goes on the transmission one goes on the uh heater exchanger or if you got a 1000 xp it might be a little different but yes uh don't pull from this bolt go to the passenger side and do it it's a lot easier so yeah, I'm just gonna do this right now. And Mr. Cow here. Mr. Cow. I'm about to see since I didn't take it out, I'm about to see. Yeah. So I'm I'm taking the bolt now. Look, somebody put the bolt on the wrong place here. So you need to just follow what you did and make sure the bolt is going to the right hole. That's what she said again. Here. So look, the big bolt is gonna go through the mount. Big bolt go to the mount. Yes, big bolt goes to the mount. See, he rounded out this one a little bit here, but we didn't break it. Things got in. I can re weld it, but I'm not too worried about it. So, what this is gonna do is gonna keep your trust me. Jack up on it. Jack up on it. Let me grab the jacket wrapper. Oh, perfect. Put the other one in too. That's what she said. Put the mount in. Okay, perfect. Now, see, we got three bolts in there. So now I need to figure out where I am. That must be one at the top too. Yeah. So now we need to talk to Mr. Kyle there. And Mr. Kyle is going to need to grab a 13 millimeters, I think. Yeah, it's 13. 13 and get that I need a wrench. started. So that's about part to be welded on. I need to be on the money on where's the distance. Hold on one second, Adam. Let me get this. Uh, you can actually you got start. the top bolt for the uh, motor. Or the, what do you call it, heat exchanger? Yes, that's, that's coming next. First, we need to put, where's the bolt on the mount? We need to find the mount here. So we got two. And remember, guys, when you'll do this at home, if you're gonna tackle this, but it's eh, it's not too bad. It's not simple, but it's not too bad neither. That's your bolt there. So down here you have one Need to be jacked up on. and two bolts in there. Okay, those are your main transmission mounts. So when you take the the bell cover out, you're gonna have to Jack up on. support yeah. everything. There it is. Now I have this bolt here. Now we need to put the bottom one somehow. You have the big bolt for the... For some reason this is not going 100% there. Almost. Adam? Yeah, I don't know. You gonna put the bo big bolt yet? Yeah. Mm -mm. No. I'll explain you why in a second. Just put the, the bottom bolt. You got a 13 for cow? right here. Okay. It would be better if you use a ratchet, Adam. 
So that's the time I need my second pry bar. It's almost there. She just gonna ratchet and throw it. Cool. Where's the batteries to the ratchet? Um, pull side. There it is. It's in. So turn it. Come on, Chito. Can't really. Get extension. Got it perfect on the money now. So we're gonna get, I got a question uh, yesterday. I can't remember, a guy asked me how I grab the bolts on the bell cover. I'll come here in a minute, we'll get to it. Yeah, so I'm gonna show everybody how to do this. It's not that bad. Well, as long as you keep your engine and your transmission straight, it's not that bad. Huh? That one will take you long enough. The black one under. Adam, oh, it's one black one under. Under the toolbox. Yeah. Yeah, or this one. It's not a 13. Which one are you doing? The big man? 12? No, the one under. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's in. Now, all right, so we got all this back here with the bolts started, okay? So now we're gonna tie all those bolts. That one's bigger than a Is it 15? So yeah, guys, you see, we're, we're just tightening bolts on the mounts. So that's gonna push something kind of in place and what I want to try to do I would have tightened the ones on the transmission first the no you can't then you're gonna have the belt the belt cover back here the belt cover covers from here you do the bottom? all the way to there no do the top one now no, I'm talking about the 13 top the ones. ones connected to the transmission and then no the... one one on top of that one the transmission to what never mind all right that's back on place where it's supposed to be Get it just do it by hand. That's good. I just another day in one bottom one. Paradise. Come on. Here the Canadian no, geese. Next game. one. Yeah. On top. Mm. Dang Canadian. Come on. I think this one is going, but it's going sideways. That one there. Take it, take out the bottom one, yeah, for a second. Just just a little bit. Don't don't do it too much. Stop. Come on in. All right, guys. As as you can see, Lucho is installing the inner clutch cover on now. Yeah, very simple here. Clutch cover. You have three t 40s t 45s I can't remember what it is, but check in a second. I'll let you know. And then you have three, four other oh, long bolts. It goes in there. But... Oh, that's missing the nut of one. It's in the box. Where? your primary bolt. Yeah, that's your primary bolt, thank you. Okay. So I'm really missing bolts now. Those for the same size? Yeah. Yeah, they're two for the uh I need to tie that little cheetah. So, now, I can't remember. We did it so quick. I can't remember which one goes where, but we're going to try to play by ear here. Well, I'm 
should be almost in. Uh, ain't nowhere near. Nowhere near? No, I know. I'm just getting close. So where do I need to go? So that's when you need to come in. No, it's in. I no, mean. I'm talking about the transmission's got to come forward. Forward? Yep. It's hitting the side of the... Oh, hey, wait, wait, now I go up. Go up a little more like you are. Right there. Yep. See, that's when you need the help from the other side. Now, I'm pretty... I'm not sure. But I'm positive this one goes up there too. Nope, doesn't fit. So it's this one. What I need to do now is the bottom one. Yeah, go up. Like right there. Yeah, push it. Yeah. Ten. So. Just nuts. Just nuts. Yep. Now, I'm gonna give you two nuts. One goes there. One goes on top. That one oh, I thought top. they. I thought they went inside the cab. No, really. No. What I mean is the top one there. That's what the guy was asking me, and I see how we tied it. Bingo. All right, hold that top bolt. There. I remember now. Damn, cool. I was just going back on the boat a little bit. Right there. Those are two bolts out of four. If you hold it, I can turn it. It's in? Yep. Okay, it's in. That's, that's what it matters. We're going to title this later. Yeah. So, you got two more. And you can figure it out. They don't fit if you're like, I'm trying to put that one there and it doesn't fit because they're different sizes. So, I might have it wrong. This looks like oh, the same size. Okay, and that one, and then Adam's got two nuts on the other side. So once we do that, and we tie those, you should press everything, one in there. God. I know. Where's the other one? You probably want to twist from over there. Okay, I'll twist it a little bit. So where's the other one going? I got that. Which check. one do you have? That one? Yeah. Okay. More? No, it's turning. Turkey turn. Turn my hand. Yeah. Turn it all. Make sure it's all. All right, that one's on. That one's on. No. So this one is on the very end. Yeah, I'm looking. Oh yeah, there it is. You got it. Oh yeah, that was gonna be a pain in the ass. Yep. I bet. It's probably gonna be best to uh, get a magnet. Let me see. Put it here. I right, guess this bolt here it requires two people. It's right on top of the uh, thermostat house in there. Actually, yeah, come on. Behind, the behind the thermostat house. I wish I got more light. There you go. There's a flashlight coming for me. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to put on it. Well, it's up there. You're gonna see my finger. What I did is I hold the bolt in there where my finger is. You can barely tell. And Adam turned it in the other side. So we're gonna get with a small, very, very small 15. Yeah. All the rest are doable. I mean, they're not that bad, but that one in there is what yeah. the guy was asking me. And I wanna make sure I'm gonna record how I'm holding the wrench. Just hold, hold your mouth in the right place and then, you know, everything comes out as usual. What's up? But yeah, it's almost in. Huh? Go back with Paul. What, he, what, what he's doing in there, you're gonna do these two different color ones. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, guys. It, you ain't gonna have this big ass extension. But, but we're gonna tighten these two bolts right here that connect to the top side of the transmission over there. One that Lucho is about to show you that's behind. The thermostat house and it's uh -huh. a pain in the ass to get to and you have this one right here it's pretty simple to get to he's on that one come so, on so which one you want easy one 
Hold on. Back up a little bit. I got stuck. No, no. I'm good. I'm good. Come on. Keep coming. I crossed it. Ready? Yeah. All right. All right. My hand. Oh, dear. It's in? Yeah, it's in. Okay, now I'm going to need to get to that one by the thermostat. So, what I do is I try to grab it. And I need some light too. So I grab. We should get my flashlight right now. Hide and push it. One second. Let me get out of it and reaccommodate. So, come on. Hold on. Come on. Them bolts are not the cheapest, I mean, not the strongest, so. I know. I got my stock now. Yeah. So you go up and down a little bit here, it comes out. So what I did is, for the guy asked me, I can't remember your name, but I, I know you asked me for this. I go with this, great neck, cheap. What I do is I go sideways like this. I'm trying to give an angle on it. And then, once it gets in the angle like this, you just want to put it a little bit of angle on this way. You first put it in like this, and then you angle it. And you just can tie the son of a gun. It's hard. It's not easy. But it's not terrible. It's not like, wow, laughing ever. Now, make sure that one, the top one is tied, Kyle. Yeah, I tied. I tied. So, I'm here. I already got all the bolts tied. And... Now it's time for the shifter. If I can get the stupid clip in, we have the money. There it is. Now I know my shifter needs to go. So first of all, I need to check in which gear I'm on. Before you put the shifter, you need to make sure which gear you're on. It's easier to be on park. So I'm on park now. And we should come park here too. That's park. Sounds clankack. So. It's just base reference. You can adjust the shifter as you need. I just. Adjust it a little bit, could be the right way. I'm pretty sure that's the way I need it, just a little looser. But that's it, and then you got two connectors one is going to tell you which gear you own. I don't think it goes this way. I think it goes this way. Bloop. Goes there. So you connect it there. And then this one goes back here, tells you your speed. Everything away from wires there. That's good. Looks good. So now here you got your bend tube. Stupid bend tube, I hate. Yep. Now I need some pliers to get the clamp in there. That's it. That's your bend tube. Your two connectors you have in there. Uh, that's your other wire you got in here. That's for your generator, whatever it is. I don't know. I know the gen yeah, stator. Gener stator. There you go. Thank you, Paul. And uh, make sure nothing is touching. Everything needs to go neat. And so go to the other side. Like we done on this side, tightening those bolts and everything. So now, oh, basic. You'll have to remember this big time. 
you got an o-ring in here you have an o-ring in there make sure and this behind the case i wish i can show you this before but you need to make sure you put the seals in if not you're gonna get dirt and stuff when you're on your case in your bell case but we don't want that uh-uh that's a no-no also here you have this and unplug this one from somewhere it will show up in a minute that goes there you unplug it from somewhere Plug this from. All right, well, it looks like we got most of the transmission done. It wasn't too bad, and we just go on pretty much reverse order for what we just did. We mentioned the clutch here, obviously, that's you know, takes no time. Put the clutch in there, put your bolt, give it about four or five ugas. Clutch puller down there, yeah. The clutch puller goes in there. Make sure, make sure, put grease at the end. No. Threads. You need to put grease on the threads because you know when you come in there, you can put a little bit on the end, yeah. but the threads is what you're trying to take care of because you know the threads they get beat up every time they go in into the clutch and they start to pull and brrrr. So uh yeah. Make sure to put lightly grease on the threads. Don't I mean you can put some on the on the end, but don't put a lot. Yeah. Because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have grease everywhere and you're gonna start to eat uh seals like crazy. We this these machines are mad, dirt, you name it. So you can probably see better in the other side. Yeah. That's a... Look at the difference in between uh, the transmission and the engine. I mean, that's big difference. Uh, yeah. He cleaned it. I can't remember. You can go to the video and he, he talks about it, what he did to it. And, uh, man, it's... Uh, yeah, he, really, he, he really cleaned it up good. Yes. Brandon I mean, at HD Extreme did an oh, amazing yeah. job. If you need to do something on your transmission and you know experience, call Brandon. He he he, he will guide you right and you know he will tell you what to do. He's he's pretty good at it. He, we we did that we done this in no time. I mean it should be done on one night, but like I said, we got the problem on the other side of the case. But it's time consuming. It takes us roughly thirty minutes to put it back on. Yeah. It don't it take no time that. to take the transmission out or in. No. As long as you know what you're doing. Correct. Correct. And then, you know, we're going to go and keep putting the parts in. We're missing what? The axles. Yeah. Radius rods. But and most people know how to take suspension parts off. They yeah. know how to take the clutches off. I mean, to take the secondary off, you just have the bolt and let it just slide right off. Yep. So that's about it for yep. that. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Big thanks. Brandon Ho. X Extreme, go watch it, go see what he does. Uh, we're coming with a few new videos, we're gonna be up there pretty soon. Uh, being with him and making more more videos for him. And uh, yeah, if we got any other install video coming, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty positive. Not many people know about it, but we're gonna take uh, Madif, the RS1, to make it somehow bulletproof and we're gonna put it to the test. New parts coming, new stuff. And you know, it's more a, a, a lot more videos coming. And yeah, Paul's about to spray me there. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well guys, that's it. Um, can I remember your name? The guy on YouTube yesterday, I talked to him um, maybe two, three days, four days ago. I can't remember when he was. And he asked about the bolt. That's how you take out the bolt. Get a short um, range, put it sideways, angle it. And if you got any question, leave a comment. Comment, like, subscribe, drop, whatever you need, guys. And we'll see you. We'll see you, guys.